there's two ways the body compensates for shock. One is by increasing the pulse. The other is by changing the size of the blood vessels, increasing vascular tone and making them smaller. And we see that on the outside of the body, especially around the skin. The second is called vascular resistance, sometimes called systemic vascular resistance. And something called vascular tone controls that. So if I have a blood vessel that's a certain size, and I have fluid in that blood vessel, I have blood in there, I have a set pressure. If I expand that vessel, the pressure is going to go down. And if I constrict that vessel, the pressure is going to go up. When I constrict that vessel, it's called an increase in vascular tone. Think of tone as being equal to squeeze. You've probably heard of the analogy of that when we talk about shock, there's the pump, which is the heart, and then there's the pipes or the container. Well, the body has the ability to alter the size of that container as the second way that we can compensate for shock. So while I'm losing blood and my stroke volume drops, my heart rate goes up, I'm still not getting as much circulation as my body wants. So how do I maintain that? By increasing my vascular tone, by making my blood vessels smaller. It makes the pressure in the vessels increase. Now, there's a cost for that. And there's things we see on the outside of the body that tell us this is happening. So if I see pale, cool, moist skin, why is that? It's because the vessels, uh, the small arteries and arterioles around the skin have constricted and shunted blood away from the skin. It also goes away from the gut because really digesting food really isn't a priority. That's why there's nausea and sometimes vomiting and shock. So when I increase vascular tone, I make my blood vessels smaller and I increase the pressure, but I see that in my skin.